hey guys welcome to another video how are you guys doing if you're new hey do not forget to hit that subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back i really really appreciate you so um today i'm going to just be talking about the books i read in 2022 honestly i just started reading last year and it was not even the beginning of last year like around the end of last year even though i got these books i think i did a haul yes i did a haul and if you want to see the books i got last year just check the haul i'm going to link it down in my description box but i was only able to read five books you guys i was only able to read five books and i didn't even finish one of them but i just wanted to share with you and also this will serve as a motivation for me because this january i want to read 50 books I opened a good reads and it's kind of really cool because you get to see your progress you get to see things and yeah okay I'll start with the way I read them it's just a quick one I'm just gonna tell you guys a little bit about it and that's it okay so the first one I read is this one bridges are for burning three women three secrets three lies by Bina Idoniche honestly you guys this book was really really crazy for me i think i gave it let me check my good reads actually i gave it four stars and i really really liked it most of the time when i finish reading a book i just you guys about it in my vlog so i'll just just talk small small about it it's about three girls i think oh my god i've forgotten their names jesus christ but it's about three girls alana Gigi and one other lady i forgot but i really really felt like gigi was actually stupid gigi was living like in the shadow of alana alana is kind of full of herself that's what i feel but at the same time let me just read what i wrote on goodreads because i forgot what i read on goodreads i said i honestly love the story just didn't like how alana treated gigi by calling her barren she didn't even listen to her side of the story although it was it's quite understandable but i still felt hurt the way Gigi was just stressing herself financially and emotionally was very cringy and annoying muddy is my favorite character it's so sweet that's what i wrote on goodreads so basically the book is actually really, really cool it's really nice to read if you want to just enjoy you know but yeah yeah oh my god no this is not the second book i read this is not the, se the second book i read is nearly all the men in lagos are mad you guys that book is amazing i read that book and i was just laughing it's written by damilari kuku yes okay so this was what i wrote the first story caught my attention and kept me glued it was so freaking dramatic and really explained how mad men can be not only in lagos i kept opening my mouth in wonder because omo ide hot it is quite raw sexually too Though it made me laugh it kind of pissed me off when each story ends because i start to wonder what will happen next the part with the roomies still shocked me honestly guys you need to read that book that book is really really good i really really enjoyed it i gave it i think i gave it 4.5 stars in my mind 4.5 stars but you cannot give 4.5 stars you know just have to pick four or five yeah so i gave it 4.5 stars and i really really enjoyed it my friend borrowed the book that's why i don't have it here and I'm praying to God that she takes care of that book because I will kill her if she doesn't return my book in one piece. So now let's talk about Love in Color by Bolu Kabalola. It was the picture. It was the picture that actually caught my attention. It looks so beautiful. It's, it's a beautiful book when you look at it and it talks about love in color. So I felt like, okay, it's going to be related to black people's history and all that. And yes, it actually is different stories, but even not just only blacks like from all over the world it talks about Oshun. Sheherazad is my favorite story in this book I had to go check out the pronunciation if you guys watch my vlog you'll see me looking for the pronunciation of this I liked Sheherazad's story and also Nefertiti's story it talks about different women and their love kind of language their love life it's quite complicated most of the stories are complicated let me not lie like the love stories are complicated oh this is where it started getting interesting for me these two books these two books guys these two books these books are by joya goffney by joya goffney but this was her first book she wrote and this was the second book she wrote i read this one first i, I didn't know that this was not this was her first book i should have read this first maybe i would have given this a five stars but I read this first and I gave it the five stars and then I read this and I give I gave this one a four point four point 
yeah four stars i actually gave it four stars this one confession of an alleged good girl talks about this girl named monique and she had a boyfriend named uh, dom and she's from a family of you know like a holy family where your pa father is a pastor she's a pk so you know she talked about sex she's been afraid of sex she's scared of sex and her boyfriend wants to have sex with her and she cannot do it so she she's trying to keep her boyfriend and you know trying to have sex then she now realizes that she has a condition called vaginismus where she's afraid of sex so nothing can penetrate because she's afraid of sex you know it's kind of crazy you open my eyes to so many things i i like it i like it if like in my vlogs i already told you guys about it but really cool and excuse me while i ugly cry i finished this recently and it was actually really really cool it's about a girl that uh, what's her name oh my god i forgot her name jesus christ what's her name the way I read this book, I, I don't know why I can't really remember the characters' names, but it's about a girl that loves to write lists, a uh, list of things she wants to do, list of this, list of uh, boys she wants to kiss and all that. So apparently a journal that she writes this list in got lost, so it was mistaken for another guy's own and then so her enemies took the book and then they started using it to blackmail her. Most especially the fact that she lied to her parents about getting admitted into a school that she she was not even admitted in fact she was not even among the waiting list so it's kind of crazy so she was scared and she writes all these things so that she should not talk say it to people and you know how it is it's kind of crazy so yeah those are the books i've read so far the one i did not finish is this one excuse me your life is waiting by lynn grabon i don't know i've been reading this book since i don't even know like the middle of last year and i've still not finished it i'm here I'm on page 117 and the reason why I, I think I'd not finish it because I feel like the person keeps on repeating the same points in different chapters like you're trying to tell me that I need to have this positive feelings yes and I understand that but why do you have to tell me that same okay but I understand yes so that's why I'm not finishing it I keep dropping it because I feel like okay you've already said it and you are like saying it again I get the point what else you know I will still finish it. I'm still going to take my time to finish it. Maybe I'll finish it this year. But I don't really like when books kind of repeat it. Although I went to read reviews about it and people really like it. So I don't know if maybe that's just not my vibe or I don't know. Because I feel like, okay, you are talking about the power of feeling positive and when you think about what you want, don't dwell on the don't want. Yes, I got that from the beginning. Then in the second place you are talking about it's in another light, but it's still the same point. Do you understand? Anyway, like I said in the beginning of the video, I plan to read 50 books this year. So I started already and this is the one I'm reading right now. You guys, this book is actually crazy because the first few chapters I was like, I don't really like this story. What, the, what exactly is happening here? Most especially after I'd read this one and this one is really, really good to me. Then this is like, okay, it was happening, but as I continued reading, you guys, I realized that the book is actually really cool. It's cooler than I thought, but I can't wait to finish it. I'll tell you guys about it when I finish it, and I think I'll come up with updates every month to tell you about the books I read every month, just so I can also be consistent. I think it will, be, it will help me to read more since I would like to tell you guys about it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have a lot of books I would like to read this year, to be honest. Taylor Jenkins read, um, Colin Hoover, a lot of people talk about them, Emily Henry, these are books I would love to buy and read this year. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know the books you want to read and I'll see you guys in my next video. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Deuces.